Hey everyone, greetings to you all in Jesus' name. You know, you know, it is interesting to know that our kids, they watch us. They see what we're doing every day. So this morning, as I was driving, I drove, I drove, I took my kids to school. On our way going, you know, there was a conversation. Because my son is dealing with a fraction. He's a fourth grader, he's dealing with a fraction. No, we were talking about it yesterday. It was really tough for him trying to figure the homework and all that. So at a point where I have to help him out, you know. So this one, as he was going, he was a bit little quiet. He was not excited. I said, Sam, what is going on? Why are you sad? Why are you not excited? You know, whenever we are driving, we always say, Mommy, put on K-Love. There's one Christian radio. We always play. It's called K-Love. He didn't talk. We just come. So all of a sudden, he said, Mommy, I'm kind of trouble because of fashion. But I said to myself again now that my mom always said faith over fear. So I'm not going to be afraid, Mom, because I was worried. You can see that I'm kind of nervous. I was worried, but now I just want to speak to myself that I'm going to stamp my foot on the ground. Today, fashion, you're going down with me. Fashion, you're not going to make me have fear. I'm not going to be nervous about you. Because my mom said, faith over fear. Glory to God. So he didn't just tell them, my son started hitting his foot on the ground. I'm not afraid. I'm not afraid of you. Fashion, you are under my foot. I'm not afraid of you. So he said, oh, I remember more. Do you know what Steph Curry said? Steph Curry is a america professional basketball player so in his book in his clothes everything about steph curry he played for the gold state warrior gold state warrior is in california so my son is a fan of steph curry so steph curry wrote a phrases a quote on his shoe clothes and all that he said i can do all things so my son is a follower of is a follower of steph curry so he said mommy i can do all things because steph curry wrote it on the shoe i have the shoe i have the clothes and the bible teaches we can do all things so mom I can get rid of that fraction. Trust me today. You're going to hear good report. I'm going to stay on task. I'm going to focus. Glory to God. So at the end of the day, I prayed with him. He was excited. He got his self back again. He shake off his self. And then when he was going to school, I look at it the way he was putting his leg on the ground. He was bold and he was confident. He was loud. He was cherished. He knew that God got his back. You know, glory to God. So this season, I want to encourage you real quick. Based on my ministry, my husband and I, we work with people every day. People is our world, people is our ministry. So we discover that a lot of people are still struggling with fear. Fear is a factor. Fear is taking over their life. They're struggling with it. So I got a good news for you. This is this season we're gonna be teaching of faith. Faith overcomes all, faith over fear. Glory to God. So before I, I want to rush as much as possible. So the Bible teaches in Romans chapter 8. Look at it. Romans chapter 8, verse 6. Look at what the Bible teaches. Sin. It says, For to say the mind. On the flesh is dead but to say the mind of the spirit is life and peace so in other words to be spiritually minded is life and peace the kind of mind is dead is dead is pain is suicide is frustration is thinking anxiety and worried and worry and thinking of overdose that is the kind of mind the kind of mind will tell you you go to go under the truck now why not just face the truck and die it is a bad time you take your life that is the kind of mind speaking but the bible is saying that in romans chapter 8 verse 6 it says to be spiritually minded is life you know that when he said, but to set the mind on the spirit, set your mind on the spirit, that gives you peace, that gives you life, glory to God. So that is the mind living in the spirit, behaving like Jesus, doing the word of God, meditating on the word of God, reciting the word of God every day. See, he said the way God sees him. She sees her, said the way God sees her because her mind is spirit, it's not carnal. The carnal mind is complete dead. Is a dead is the pain. I can go on and on. When you live in a kind of mind, you go to hate yourself. You go to cry all day. You go to sit there in that couch and tick and tick. You go to sit under your bed and cry and cry and shed tears. You go nowhere. But if you learn to live in the spirit, you will definitely overcome anxiety, pain, thinking. You feel that you pray, your prayer is not being answered. When you live in the spirit, you believe that you already received. And you have it that is faith faith is what you believe you believe you have it and it's yours glory to god the bible teaches us in a in the book of hebrews hebrew chapter 11 verse 1 look at the, what the bible teaches it says now nah, faith is the assurance of things hoped for 
is the assurance of things that you hope for. It's a for is the conviction of things not seen. In other words, an evidence. Faith is an evidence of things that you don't see, but you believe that you have it. It's the conviction of things not seen. You don't see it, but you believe and you receive it in the realm of the spirit. You believe in the realm of the spirit. You believe in your heart that it is yours, completely yours. That is faith. It's quite different from hope. Hope is what you hope for. You hope that this thing will come. Faith is, you don't even hope for it. You don't even know if it's coming, but one thing you believe that it's coming, it's going to be yours. That is faith faith is crazy that has been my life my husband and i that has been our goal faith is our life is what we deal with every day is what we use every day and it's working for us so if you learn to take your carnal mind off if you learn to put your carnal mind off then you will start operating the spirit you will be so happy of yourself and everything will follow and your head will go where your finance will go where your marriage your husband your children your kids you will be so happy of yourself because you're you're not operating in the realm of the spirit not the kind of mind and i pray for you the grace to operate in the spirit is resting upon you now in jesus name faith is the assurance of things hold for assurance that you believe that you receive you have it it is yours you hold it in the realm of the spirit faith is conviction in other words an evidence of thing not seen, you don't even see, but you have an evidence in your heart that is yours, and you will definitely receive it. So this season we're gonna be dealing with faith over fear. Anywhere you go, you're driving on your car, you're on your way to school, you're on your way to your job, your daily tasks, you have to be saying the faith over fear. I don't know that it that you're afraid of because fear is a torment. I don't know that it that you are afraid of. Fear is a great torment. Look at what what the Bible also encourages us. You know, when we live in the spirit, automatically we behave like Jesus. We see things the way Jesus sees it. We see ourselves the way God sees us. Glory to God. The natural food is the physical. When we eat natural food, that is the physical being. When we live in the natural, we see the things so hard, so tough. I'm not going to get out of this pain. I'm not going to succeed in this marriage. My marriage is going under divorce. I'm going to commit suicide. I'm going to die. I'm not going to succeed it. This pain is too much. I cannot continue living my marriage like this. My marriage is full of pain. I cannot take it anymore. I'm packing out. I'm packing out today. No. Faith sees that all is well. Faith kicks his foot on the ground, saying, My marriage will be okay. My marriage will be great again. My husband will make right choices today. My children will stay on task. They will focus and they will make smart choices. Faith stays on it. Faith says what the word of God says only. Glory to God. He said, The word of God is the spirit man. The word of God make you to operate in the spirit because the Bible teaches faith comments. It comes by hearing God's word. If you don't hear the word of God, your faith is going to be zero level. Zero balance. But as you keep hearing the word of God every day, just like what Joshua teaches us, the Bible teaches us in Joshua, the word of God, you meditate on it day and night so that your